Good morning. You know, the truth is, I resisted talking about this this morning. But I must admit, it's something that seems to be impressed upon me more and more that it's what I'm supposed to talk about. I've titled it Ninth Wave the Most Incredible Human Trafficking. Did you know that you are a commodity being traded every day in the world's money markets? Yes, it's the banks, masters of fraud. Criminal attorneys and corrupt courts aid and abet in the crime. Politicians not only look the other way, they are in on the game as well. Welcome to the Matrix. When I say that you are a commodity being traded, as I am, as we all are, it's so incredible a statement that most people simply don't believe it. The fraud is so subtle and so unknown to the masters that the mere mention or idea of it as a conspiracy that beats all other conspiracies is almost unfathomable to human consciousness. It's beyond most of our ability to even comprehend, well, to even entertain, let alone comprehend. It just can't be true, we think, that we are wealthy beyond degree and we don't even know our own wealth. And yet the banksters do, yet the criminals do, and they have devised a system so insidious that it robs us of our very wealth all because we are clueless who we are and we don't want to know what's going on around us. Please don't tell me the truth. A report was issued yesterday and posted on probably lots of websites around or Facebook pages and websites around the world that one out of seven Americans believe that the, that the United States government was in on 9-11. That means six out of seven Americans are still stupid enough to believe the official story because we want to hold on to our illusion so badly we want to keep chasing the dollar so badly, even though its value has fallen and it's being artificially propped up, and it has been for the last couple of years. Yes, last couple of years, last three or four years, it's been being propped up artificially. But this financial game continues to go on and on. It's winding down. I can see it winding down. Why? Because people are waking up. You can't do conspiracies in the dark. But so many people, six out of seven, still believe the official story of 9-11. That's crazy. That's insanity. But worse than that, far worse than that, is the fact that our birth certificates are traded, as I said, in the money markets of the world. They don't loan, they, the banks, and the so-called lending institutions, do not loan anyone anything. They don't have anything to lend only that which they have stolen and created out of thin air from, from their initial theft. I have a friend who lives here in Florida who before she understood what was going on 
went to a lawyer for counseling on a credit card debt. And the lawyer in his free consultation or her free consultation advised her to sign the paper admitting the debt was hers. And then she was drawn into court by a collection agency and tried to stand up for her rights, but she didn't know enough to stand up for her rights. I created a document for her, but and I told her when I gave it to her that she really did not understand and she was not prepared to go to court. But she went to court and the judgment was against her and now she's worried they're going to garnish her wages. She's going, going absolutely crazy. She called me three times yesterday wanting help. And I don't know enough how to help her because she did so many things wrong. There probably is a way, and maybe if I searched enough I could find it, but I don't know it off the top of my head. How to get how to help somebody that signed that their debt is theirs because they didn't know, and then go into court and try to talk about things that they don't really understand and get the judgment against them and in Florida they can garnish 25% of her wages, as I understand it. They can also take her vehicle if it's valued at more than $1,000. How many vehicles in, t in today's economy are not valued? <laughs> I mean, a $1,000 vehicle is a piece of junk, but that's the way the law reads. And I'm looking for remedies to try to help her I still haven't found them. There's, there's places that want to make money off of her, and any company that wants to make money is still part of the fraud. Bear in mind, folks, the reason you think they've given you money is because you've bought into the illusion that you're broke, that you don't have any, because they didn't tell us how much we're worth, how much our creativity and our labor and our very life is worth. It's human trafficking and human slavery at its most debased level. And it's been going on most of our lives, actually all of our lives. And we have been clueless. Our birth certificates, as I've said before, our birth certificates are commodities. They are valuable, negotiable instruments that are traded. That's how we are traded. We are, tra we are turned into corporations. That's what I talked about, the false identity deception, a couple of days ago. They turn us into corporations. All of the dealings that, the, that they do is with our name in capital letters, which is a legal fiction. It is a straw man. It is not real. It is a corporate entity. And the whole system is built on corporations. Corporations are criminal entities. They are criminal entities. That doesn't mean that everybody that's part of a corporation is a criminal, however. And in fact, even people that are in banking, and there might even be a few, a small percentage of attorneys that are actually honest and not corrupted. There, there are judges more and more that are telling the truth and not all courts. Because there are honest judges, there are honest courts or honest judgments being done. And there are a few politicians that have really been trying to get people to see at least some of the truth. People like Dennis Kucinich and Ron Paul here in the United States. And there are others. There are others. Uh, the senator from... Uh, from Vermont, I believe, the independent senator, Bernie, is it Bernie Sanders? Is he the one? You know, there are some people that are trying to tell the truth, trying to, to wake people up. Folks, when you are loaned money, is in a credit card, in a mortgage, or any type of commercial loan, that loan is secured before it is made. The bank already has the assets from you that you gave them and you didn't even know you were giving it to them because you didn't even know you had it to give. Neither did I. Neither did I. When I was, before I learned it, when I entered into the bridge loan in 2005, I didn't know all of this stuff. I was beginning to learn about the fraud of 9-11 I was beginning to learn about 
government corruption. I was beginning to learn about the mass of conspiracies, but there was still so much I didn't know, and there still is. That's why I would like somebody to help me help this friend of mine who is going bananas thinking that, that a quarter of her wages are, are going to be garnished, as in stolen from her without her consent. Somebody else made the decision for her, some judge, some crooked attorney working for a collection agency. Not even the bank anymore, but the banks, many of them, own the collection agencies. And it's a criminal conspiracy, it's a cabal that is involved in the worst kind of human trafficking imaginable. Folks, this is our lives. This is our lives. It may not be happening to you right now, but it will if it continues. Are you going to stay silent? Are you not going to speak up because it hasn't happened to you yet? Is your, does your job still seem secure and you're happy because at least you have income coming in and you think that you d need money to survive? It appears that we do need money sur to survive. I've been there. I understand. But folks, it's a game. It's a game that's not real. It's not true. And again, I emphasize again, you and I are multi-millionaires in the money market game. And the ones that are masters of the game know that and they trade, you and I. We are, we are human chattel. We are slaves to those that have been operating this, this matrix system, this financial fraud that has been perpetuated and perpetrated on the entire human family around the world. It's not just the United States. It's around the world. It's the Uniform Commercial Code. It's the game that they've created to defraud everyone. And they themselves are part of the fraud. They are defrauding themselves too. But as long as they can uh, manipulate it to their own advantage, who cares, right? That's the attitude of these people. Well, as more and more of us awake and stand in our truth and start calling them on their crap, don't sign anything if you're called before a collection agency or court, don't even talk to them. Don't even communicate with them if you can avoid the communication. If they send a letter and it's addressed to you and your capital names, return it to the sender. Don't even communicate with them because anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to remain silent. Everybody has that right. It is a human right Yes, it's given in the Constitution or the Bill of Rights of the United States of America, but it applies to everyone everywhere, even if you're not a party to it. These are spiritual principles, metaphysical principles of justice and truth. And law, real law, is always based on the truth. And the current system is not based on truth. It is not, therefore, law. It is a fraud. It is a scam. And we need, as human beings, to wake up to this fact. Again, I'm going to close. If anybody knows how to help someone, like my friend, who is fretting tremendously that she's going to have her money stolen without her consent, if you know how to help somebody that's this far along, that has a judgment against her, and now they're trying, as I said, to garnish wages. And in Florida, they don't even have to tell you. They just start garnishing them. They don't have to send you a writ. They just, start, they just notify the bank or, the, or your employer, and they just take the money. They take it before you've even seen it. Before you even know it's gone, they have it in their possession. This is the scam, folks. This is the scam. And I know it's not just my friend. I could probably multiply that times probably into the millions of people here in the United States and multi-millions of people around the world that they're playing this sick game with. They're making you pay back what was never loaned to you in the first place. Never in the first place. That's how the game works. Believe it or not, if you investigate and you study 
you'll know that I'm telling you the truth. I see that my time has expired. Think about what I've said. Please think about what I've said. Go in your heart and ask, what can I do to help? Namaste.